Uh, good evening, everyone. Thank you so much for joining our session. Uh, we will be waiting for a few more attendees uh, for the next couple of minutes, and then we will start. So thank you for your patience. And guys, in the meantime, we have uh, attendees joining in. Uh, just to let you know that in case if you have any questions during the webinar session, you can uh, put your questions in the chat box, and I will try to answer them at the end of the session. So we will keep the last uh, five minutes or 10 minutes, uh, you know, for the Q&A uh, round. So if, we're in, if you have any questions related to the admission requirements, deadlines, fees, anything about your profile, so you can discuss with me. All right, so let's start our session now. So guys, as you as you already know that today uh, we will be talking about studying medicine uh, and dentistry in the Europe region. And uh, we do this Europe medicine webinar every month in order to uh, give updates to our students and uh, to let them know that what countries they can apply, uh, what are the benefits and what are the options available, especially for the international students and students who are from India and uh, how you can apply and get the admission in those schools, right? And there is another reason that why we do medicine webinar every month is because uh, we have seen that there is a significant amount of request from students and parents, especially from the India region, uh, where they want to know uh, different and diversified options. Uh, because I know that in India, uh, majority of the consultants, they guide you for the medicine, which is in the countries like Russia, Armenia, Uzbekistan, Philippines, China, you know, Ukraine. <clears throat> However, uh, you know, the awareness is very less when it comes to the European Union countries, which, which is also known as uh, Shenzhen countries, uh, you know, in India. Yeah. So let's find out, like, what are the options? Uh, before I start talking about the countries, just to give you an idea about us. So we are a brighter education group of companies uh, wherein we help students for the uh, test preparations for IELTS, TOEFL, UCAT, BMAT, GRD, GMAT. And we also help students to apply to the medical colleges across the globe. So we help them to you know prepare their applications. We help them for the student visa. We help them for the interview training. We help them to write their essays. So we provide hand to, you know, a complete handling throughout the application process. We also have a website called gotouniversity.com. You can visit to our portal and you, you will be able to find information on over 4,000 universities around the world for medicine and also for the non-medicine uh, degrees, which is engineering, business, psychology, arts, etc. We also have Ignite Training Institute under which we provide tutoring on the STEM subjects to the students who are coming from the uh, non-Indian curriculum, which is like IB, A-levels, or uh, you know, uh, IGCSC, American curriculum, and advanced placement subjects. Right. So what we will be covering in this webinar today, visually, I will keep this webinar simple and short, where I will try to answer your uh, queries and uh, and uh, you know like uh, like what are the benefits of studying medicine abroad what are the countries which you can consider from India and what are the generic admission criteria and most importantly careers after MBBS in abroad uh, this is the question which I would like to also highlight because I have seen that many of these students and parents uh, you know they only talk about studying medicine abroad, but generally they do not see that what are the futuristic, you know, futuristic opportunities you might get. Like what are the long term opportunities you will get in those countries. So that is also very important. So when you decide you want to study medicine, you also need to see that what are the prospects you will have after your medicine program, right? So let's see which countries we will be discussing today. So we will discuss Poland, Czech Republic, Hungary, Latvia, Lithuania, and Cyprus. 
these are some major countries which I feel international and especially Indian students can apply to. So let's discuss why Poland. So Poland is one of the country which I suggest to Indian students because the major benefit to going to Poland for the medicine is that you will study your medicine in English language. So it is known as MD degree in Poland, doctor of medicine. We call it MBBS in India, they call MD degree, doctor of medicine, and the duration is six years. Out of six years, five years is study, and the sixth year will be an internship, all right? And the major benefit is that once you finish your MD, which is doctor of medicine in Poland, you have an op opportunity, either you come back to India and appear for the screening exam of Medical Council of India, and you start practicing in India. Second option you have is that you can even appear for the licensing exam in Poland in English language. That is the best part that you can take the licensing exam in English language in Poland and then, uh, uh, you know, like uh, you can start practicing in uh, Poland as well. And the third uh, best part is that you will be able to appear for the US MLA examinations and uh, you can appear for step one and step two while you're doing six years of uh, MDA course and you can move in the USA through the residency match program. So, which means that, for example, let's compare, let's, if you, let's say if you go to country like Ukraine or Armenia or maybe any, any non-English speaking country, right? Or maybe any other European country. So generally, the career prospect which you have is that you finish your degree and medicine in English. And then after that, you have to come back to India. The reason is because you cannot stay in that country after your medicine because of the language barrier. Because if you want to crack their licensing exam, you need to know their language. And if you do not know their language, you cannot sit for the entrance exam. So that's the part which is Poland is, is you know very good in that, that you can appear for the licensing exam in English language. All right, so someone just messaged here. I'm unable to see the screen. So guys, just let me know. Are you able to see the screen which I have shared? Uh, if you can just maybe show me thumbs up or something like that, or maybe message. All right, okay. So only uh, Virinder is not able to see the screen. Virinder, I think you might have to rejoin again. Uh, because I think uh, I have shared my screen well. So maybe you can disconnect and join again. So I think it will be fine. <clears throat> Sorry, guys. So what I was telling so that, you know, uh, in uh, Poland, that's the best option you have. So like you can come back to India, you can practice in Poland because you can give the screening exam in English language over there. And you can also move to USA. So these three options uh, give you, you know, like, three dimensional opportunities. That is the reason I suggest to international and Indian students that they can, uh, you know, like uh, go for the Poland option. Another thing is that the tuition cost. So the cost of tuition is uh, quite less in Poland. I think in the year, uh, in Poland, the yearly cost, let's see how much it is in the universities. I have it on the next screen. All right. So if you see, for example, Medical University of Dansk, so they have six years of program. Intake is in October every year. And uh, the tuition fee, which is they have yearly, it is 9,000 euros per year. 9,000 euros yearly means around, I think around eight lakhs uh, per annum. This alone the tuition fees. Apart from that, your living cost. Another thing is that, you know, in Europe, uh, living cost is quite less. It's not very expensive. So in Poland, if we see, approximately you'll end up spending 200 or maximum 250 euros per month on your stay and you know your accommodation and meals. So it's not going to be very expensive. If I tell you in Indian uh, cost, uh, how much you will spend. So for the six years, you are looking at somewhere around 65 to 70 lakhs approximately uh not more than that yeah and you can finish your entire six years and for the complementary purpose there are 
not all, but I think one or two universities, which includes Medical University of Dance, they also give you US MLE preparation at no cost in the university. So you have an option that you can take the coaching if you are trying to attempt, uh, you know, US exams. If you have a plan to do your PG speciality in the USA after your MD. All right. Now, second university is University of Varmia and Missouri. And even they have six years of medicine. Same, they have intake in October. And you can see the prerequisites. So generally in Europe, all the medical colleges will have basic prerequisites. So they would require biology and chemistry from you. Some universities might ask math, but it is not obligatory. Majorly, they will look at your biology and chemistry subject scores, all right? And uh, the basic process to these universities are that you have to do the online application. Then once you apply online, after that, you have to pay an application fee. You have to sit for the entrance exams. Now, these universities from the last two years have been conducting entrance examinations digitally online, which can be given uh, you know, from your home. So that is also possible, right? And uh, apart from that, uh, there is another thing is uh, that once you finish your entrance examination, you can appear for the interview. So you, there will be an interview which you have to crack. Once you finish your interview, after that, you will be able to get the medical seat. All right. So you can write down the details if you want to. Uh, one is this one, which is Warmi and Missouri. The previous one, which I shared was uh, Medical University of Dansk. And apart from that, there is Medical University of Lords. All right. Now, Medical University of Lords, this is not a public university. This is uh, a private university. Yeah. So I think Medical University of Lords, you can keep it as a backup option. I mean, as a safe option. Uh, although their tuition fee is around 11,800 euros uh, per annum, which is around like 10 lakhs uh, per annum. Uh, however, I would say that comparatively, it is easy. What, the reason why it is easy is because they do not have any entrance exam, if you see on the screen. They just have a simple basic interview. Honestly speaking, I have, I mean, any of my students like, you know, apply to this university, they have got accepted in the past. So this is quite uh, very lenient when it comes to the admission, but they are also accredited and they also have, uh, you know, like, uh, I mean, Medical University of Lords is also accepted globally and also throughout the uh, European region. Yeah. Now, uh, the another university is, uh, sorry, the another country is uh, Czech Republic. So Czech Republic is also very famous, uh, especially in India. And in Czech Republic, there is only one university which is quite famous, which is known as uh, Charles University. Why it's famous? So now Charles University is the, in my knowledge, it is the oldest medical university in throughout the European region. In, in all, in you know, if we put together all the uh, European countries. So, check, uh, so the Charles University is the you know uh, oldest one. Another thing is that uh, Charles Universities they have uh, around four faculties where students can apply, right? What is the meaning of four faculties? So you know they started their first faculty initially, and it became successful, and many students you know wanted to apply and study. But since they had very few seats left they extended their campus and they created second faculty and so on and so forth, third and fourth like that. Yeah. And uh, they have all the accreditation from General Medical Council of UK, from California Medical Board, from World Directory Medical Council of India. I mean, you can think of all the major accreditations and Charles University will have it. Um, there is a myth that, you know, Charles University is very difficult. It's not like that. But yes, if you apply to first faculty, uh, it might be a little difficult since they have less seats. So I have listed two faculties which you might consider while applying to Czech Republic, especially in Charles University, which is, uh, you know, the first faculty and faculty of medicine in Hara Kralov. 
first faculty is very famous among international students and i will only suggest to apply only if you have grades in let's say 90s and uh, you can apply to harder kralov where their admission requirement is a little lenient and uh, i mean both of them they have entrance exam on the basic science and these entrance exams are generally on the science subjects which is on based on your high school so it's not that difficult and uh, they also have uh, you know resources put it on the website you can download those resources to do a mock practice before you actually go for the entrance exam all right now let's see uh, the country hungary now hungary is also i mean not very famous in india honestly the reason is because again i feel that there is a lack of awareness in my opinion hungary is one of the finest country to go for the medical studies especially for the uh, for the medicine why the reason is they have like if you see on the sixth point it says there are four medical universities semelvis debrecen pex and sejed so these four universities all of them they all are a part of top 300 400 universities around the world which means they are a part of you know like 3% or 4% of the universities around the world so they have a very very high and you know excellent uh, global medical ranking and that too by the qs and you if you know the uh, you know ranking providers you might know that qs global uh, and qs ranking is known as the best ranking provider in the world yeah now why hungarian medical universities have the best rankings the reason is they are really good at teaching students for us mla in case if you have a plan of moving to us and if you're looking for a very good medical university which can prepare you while you're doing your 6 years of md and you can crack your us mla and move to us then i suggest that you can go for the hungarian universities however these universities are a little expensive i feel as compared to the other uh, you know european universities so their medicine program average tuition fees is around i think 14 to 15 lakhs per year but uh, let me tell you one thing like all these universities there if you go to their website and if you do a bit of research you will find out that majority of you know the major chunk which they get of students many americans come so many us citizens come to hungarian medical universities so that they can do their us mla and then they can uh, you know start their phd speciality because i hope you guys already know what is the standard route of doing medicine in us you have to do four years of first degree which is pre med like bachelor's in biomedical science or or you know bachelor's in biochemistry or biology and then you do your mcat exam and then you enter in the four years of md doctor of medicine so in the us it takes about like 8 to 10 years and i think there are about somewhere around like 140 medical colleges are there in the us and those are very very competitive especially when it comes to the international students they hardly have one or two seats per university so you can imagine even if you appear for mcat the chances are very minimal that's why even the locals you know even the us citizens even they prefer to go outside their country do you know this kind of six years of medicine and then come back to their country with the us mla exam and then start practicing they themselves find it cheaper and easier way to uh, you know get their medicine uh, license medical license in the us so hungarian universities are very good at it and they are most of the crowd is uh, you know us and Euro european based okay i can i'm sorry so important thing is that you can see the deadlines now again one more thing i forgot to highlight so the universities and countries which i'm taking you through now i know that the deadlines have been passed for this year because intake is in october and most of these universities their deadline was in july or maybe in you know in june i don't think so that any of the european medical college is open right now especially when it came the universities and countries we are talking yeah but i am giving you this information beforehand the reason is because if you have missed your deadline for this year at least you can prepare yourself and your application for the next year their their application generally opens up 8 to 9 months before of the course start date 
So probably by this end of the year or maybe January 2023, you can start sending your admissions to these colleges for the next year session. Another country is Latvia. It's a very small country. Not many people know about it. But I, uh, the major reason I chose this country to put it on the slides, it's because there is one university, which is Riga Strandes University, RSU, who offer medicine and dentistry. But the good part is that, you know, they have uh, two intakes, which is September and February. And I think their February intake deadline is still available. I have mentioned 1st of November, but I may be incorrect because we didn't have, you know, the correct information from their website for this February intake deadline. But you can still check with the university. And if you want to apply here, maybe you can get in touch with me or my team. We might be able to help you. So only this university I know in the European uh, European Union region, Shenzhen countries majorly, which offers two intakes for medicine, right? And uh, but one thing, just remember, guys, that out of all the European countries which I am showing you now, it's only Poland who gave you an option to appear for licensing exam in in Europe. I mean, in Poland itself, and then practice. It's not available in Czech Republic or Latvia or Hungary. I mean, either you can appear for US MLE and move to US or come back to India. Because if you want to sit for the licensing exam, you need to know their language. You have to give the licensing exam in their language. It's only Poland which allows you to sit for licensing exam in English language. Just remember that, yeah. Uh, Lithuania, again, Lithuania is good, uh, but for my personal, suggestion to my students are like if you are you know looking for majorly veterinary medicine so Lithuania is very good because there are many uh, you know many research they have uh, done and you know they have contributed in the veterinary science basically although they offer medicine and dentistry but they have some veterinary sciences program which is not listed here but if you go to this website Lithuanian University of Health Sciences you might find it and if you're looking for the veterinary sciences kind of a program you can check it and uh, you can apply yeah all right cyprus again so in terms of cyprus cyprus i know it's not a part of european union it's not a Shenzhen country guys however still i thought of including one university which i feel would be very beneficial for students and that is university of nicosia now why i suggest why i'm suggesting the university of nicosia Let's say that you want to become a doctor in the UK. And I don't know if you guys know the, know the process or not for the UK, but the process for UK is, is uh, it's straightforward, but obviously it is merit-based. When I say merit-based, it means that you need to have certain academic scores, like around 90s in your 12. You have to sit for the entrance exam known as UCAT, University Common Aptitude Test, and you have to have a very good score in that as well, around 2700, 2800, or maybe more than that in order to get the interview call from medical college. You need to have IELTS of 7.5, no less than seven. You need to have some experiences of doctor shadowing, community service. You need to work on very strongly on your essays. So basically you need to have a very strong portfolio if you want to go straight into the UK medical colleges and you want to become a doctor in the UK. Even if you have all of that, there is a, there is a financial uh, you know, barrier as well because UK medical colleges are quite expensive and you end up spending around two to 2.5 crores in Indian rupees for the five years of study, right? But still, if I tell you that you can get into the UK and practice as a doctor in the half of the cost. So this is the way of University of Nicosia. Now, University of Nicosia, it's based in Cyprus and they offer six years of MD, just like any other European medical college. But the best part they have is that you will do your three years, first, second, third year, that's in Cyprus at University of Nicosia. And then you will be able to do your last uh, almost three years, that is in the UK. You will be also able to do your clinical rotations, clinical placements, which is a part of your six years MD program in the UK NHS hospitals, which is a government hospitals. It is known as national healthcare system, right, of UK. And when you do your, uh, uh, you know, clinical rotations in the UK, you will be able to get exposed to their healthcare system. 
Now, University of Nicosia, they have a treaty with one of the British medical school in the uh, UK, wherein you can apply for the internship. So once you finish your six years of MD through the University of Nicosia, you will be able to apply for the internship in the UK, which is paid. It is salaried and it's for two years. It is known as Doctor Foundation Year 1 and Foundation Year 2. And it is as similar to, you know, it is given to the same student who is going to any British medical school. Even they do their five years of uh, medicine in UK and they do the internship. You can do the similar internship in the UK. You will start earning salary, I think, which is around 4,000 pounds a month, 3,000 3, to 4,000 pounds a month, which is like 3 lakhs to 4 lakhs per month in Indian rupees. Once you finish your internship of two years, you can also apply for the PG speciality in the UK. Now, PG speciality is sponsored by the government in UK and there's no fees. So you will, plus you will be making salaries. So you will be working during your PGs, plus you will be doing your uh, speciality as well. So you will be working, learning and uh, earning both. So that's why I feel that this is a good part and you don't need UCAT for this university. Okay, IELTS requirement is still not very high. Academics are still a little flexible if you compare to any British medical college. And the cost, if you compare the entire cost of this program to the UK Medical College, you will find out that here you might spend maybe 1 to 1.5 crores. And in UK, you will be spending around 2.5 crores. So it's like more, almost a half of the cost. And you can still end up becoming a doctor in the, uh, you know, UK. Yeah. Now, generally, what are the requirements? So you can see based on your curriculum. So for Indian curriculum, I have mentioned 60% overall, but don't go by this because this is the least I've mentioned. Generally, I would suggest you to have at least in 70s or 80s in order to get into any European medical school. And chemistry and biology is mandatory. Mathematics, mostly it's not needed, but maybe one or two universities might ask. Now, what are the careers after MBBS? Of course, as I mentioned about Poland, as I mentioned about University of Nicosia, that's how you can become a doctor in the UK. I also mentioned about how you can do your USMLEs and you know you can apply in the residency match. So these are the career, spot, career pros prospects you need to think of. Yes, you know how you can, I mean, do your specialties in the English countries. In my opinion, when I speak to the parents and students, when they ask which country, which university is better, I just say one thing: you should try to go to a university or let's say a country which give you a stay back which give you an option to practice as a doctor in their home country, in their own country after the medicine. If they're not giving you that option, it means it's very difficult for you to, you know, start your career. You have to come back to India because you have stayed for five years, six years in some country. Now you know about their culture, you know about their healthcare system. You did your clinical practice over there in their hospitals. Now you're pushing back to India. Here things are very different. You have to again crack the exam. That is a challenge then you will start your career in. So it's it's not a very kind of a comfortable thing to do for everyone. So that's why I feel that it's very important for you to make that decision that wherever you're going, even if you want to come back to India, it's fine, but make sure that that country should offer you a option to, you know, stay back over there. All right. <clears throat> what are the documents that required? Generally they required same, you know, statement of purpose, letter of recommendations, your resume, any volunteer experience, your 10th and 12th scores, IELTS and, you know, IELTS and etc. These are the major documents. We can help you uh, how. So if you contact us, let me share my contact details straight away without wasting any time. So I am Varun here on the right side, you can see. So I manage the India operations. Students who apply from India, they contact me. Student outside India, if you are based in UAE or Middle East, anywhere, you can contact Sarah, my team member from Dubai. So we can help you to, you know, shortlist the colleges based on your profile needs. And we can help you to identify right place, the right fit for you, and to help you with the entire application journey, help you with the interview, student visa application, and, you know, like a complete guidance we can give you. And if you have any questions, we can also do a free counseling sessions in order to help you as much as we can. Yeah, so that's the goal. Now, let me uh, just check the questions. Rubina asked, does UK offer stay back after studies? Rubina, yes. 
if you go straight to the UK medical colleges, they do offer you the stay back, but that stay back is known as foundation year one, foundation year two, internships. We call it internships in India. They call foundation year one, foundation year two, and those are paid, which means salary. So you just have to pay the fees for five years if you are going to UK medical college. If you're going through the University of Nicosia route from the Cyprus route, then your program will be for six years. But still, you can get the same foundation year one and two in the UK. When you finish your foundation year one and two in the UK, after that, you can also apply for the PG specialization. Let's say if you want to become a gynecologist or you want to become a psychiatry, you want to become a cardiologist, internal medicine, emergency medicine, anything. So you will decide that. PG speciality in the UK is minimum for two years and maximum for six to seven years. Yeah. And there is no fees for that. So you will be doing your PG speciality and working as a junior doctor and still taking the salaries. And then, I mean, you make your living over there, apply for the citizenship, settle there in the UK itself, get the passport of UK, don't come back. Yeah. All right. So Wissam has asked, do you have details about Georgia, particularly USMD and TSMD? Sorry, Vizam, we don't help for Georgia. Uh, so I can't help you with that. So Farzana has asked, oh, please send this people via email. Yeah, Farzana, we can do that. You can uh, get in touch with me on the WhatsApp. I'll send you to the people. That's not wrong. Bushra has asked, do we need to qualify and need to attend medicine in Poland? It's a very good question, guys. So need, see, need is not required for the admissions for the college admissions. However, I suggest that you give need because it will keep your options open, you know, in your home country in India. So if you give that need and just qualify it, it will be good. Visam has asked, is Lord's University a good option? It's a good op option, Visam, and it's a safe option. And uh, I mean, since they're also accredited by the European uh, Medical Council, so it's, it's uh, not a problem, you can apply. Okay, and who else? What's the tuition fee in Czech Republic, Dr. Ganesh? Tuition fee in Czech Republic is around 40 to 15 lakhs per year in Charles University. Farzana has asked which countries will accept these A-level grades, CCD. Uh, Farzana, CCD, till the C is okay, D is a problem, I feel, because generally they require B and C, but even if you have Cs, it's okay. With the D, uh, we have to check who can take you in. Two students of Hungary universities and University of Nicosia have to write lab exam to enter UK for foundation year one or foundation year two. Not through the Nicosia route, but if you apply in Hungary, then after that, yes, you have to sit for the plan. But just to let just to keep you guys updated, from 2023 next year onwards, there is no plan exam. Plan is being replaced now with the UK ML exam, just like USML. Okay, so someone has uh, already written that. So, okay. Fine. So, guys, uh, someone has asked with 58% in PCB, what are countries are going to apply for? Sorry, like, uh, sorry, brother, I cannot help you with this score, uh, you know, in the Euro. But I think countries like Georgia, Armenia, and all, you might try, but we don't support those countries. Among universities, you have tie-up, which university has minimum fee structure. Virendra, we do not have tie-up with any of these universities, just to give you an information. We help students independently for these uh, universities. Uh, but the minimum fee structure, I think, is in Poland. That's why I suggested that that's the best option. Omar is asking, which university have a winter intake? Uh, so Omar, I think only uh, Latvia has a February intake. Others only have October intake. Do any of countries offer plan exemption? No, no university, no country offer plan exemption. Germany offers uh, Rubina medicine in, in only German language. It's very, very difficult to get in. Italy, I know offers in English, but we don't support Italy. It's because you have to appear for IMAT exam and we don't prepare for IMAT. Uh, and in Italy, again, same thing. 
if you go if you go you do your medicine in italy you cannot stay back in italy because you can't you can't take the licensing exam in english language in italy so you have to only you have only one option that to come back to india and italian universities are not good at us military training either so the only option you have is to come back to india so for poland neat is required okay so neat is not required for the admission but i still suggest that you do the neat so that in case in future if you want to come back to india that time you would need neat to prove that uh, you know that you gave the neat and you can sit for the licensing exam uh, sorry we don't help for transfer students from ukraine it's not that we don't want to help we really don't we want to help but uh, you know i contacted many universities in the europe and uh, they did not entertain us as if we don't have information on bulgaria either yes b and c is acceptable yes no problems at all sorry we don't help for post graduation programs uh, but pg in pediatric medicine should be available as a specialty in all these countries but we don't do the pg uh, you know specialty here right guys so i think uh, i was able to cover most of the information which i wanted to uh, you know give away to the students today so yeah you can get in touch with us and we'll be more than happy to assist you yeah all right bye bye